I need to, I have a bone to pick with you. Okay. You think that Kevin Durant going to the Golden State Warriors was a cool move? Great decision. We happen to think he's a baby back bitch for it. <laughs> We've been rep. We, actually, we don't say that word anymore. CJ McCollum you asked us and, not you to. And, you and CJ McCollum. I started, yeah. yeah, I started that little Twitter fight. So why do you think, do you at least understand from a fan's perspective? Because I'm all for, you know, players going wherever they want. Yeah. But from a fan perspective, it did kind of shift the balance of the league. And it does yeah. feel at times like no one's going to beat the Warriors. Yeah. So let's talk about the, the, real quick the shift in the balance of the balance of the league. All okay. that. Um, we should have smoothed the cap. That anomaly, that once in a literally a generation bump in cap space, should never have happened. Which and made the it Warriors all possible. Should never have been able to sign Kevin Durant in the first place. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the la- I've been a free agent the last two summers. I mean, the st- st- statistics statistics back this up. Like the Wall Street Journal had a thing. It was like three hundred or three point four billion dollars were handed out in free agency in two thousand sixteen. Last summer was one point nine. This, uh, this summer was one point seven. The average length of contract was like two and a half years in sixteen. This past summer was like one point seven or one point six or something like that. So if you were a free agent the past two summers, you got hurt. Even in 15, all these teams were anticipating the cap mm-hmm. bump and they overspent that summer. And those contracts don't come off until 19 this, this coming summer. So I don't think it should ever happen in the first place. Having said that, the reason I'm a fan of it is because I think there's too many players, and and I'll, Dwight is a great example of this, that want to please everyone that mm-hmm. feel that feels a necessity to please everyone and you're it's just completely impossible and i like seeing a player ultimately do what is you know what is what he wants to do what's going to make him happy even if he pisses a bunch of people off everyone because if he resigned in okc he's still pissing off some people true He's still pissing off some people. Russell Westbrook, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On yeah. the prize. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, I just, you know... There's, I, I talked about this on, on my podcast, actually. <clears throat> there's two sides to sort of the anger. The fan side I get. You know, he, he basically signed with the world champions. They'd lost the previous year. But he signed w- with the best team in basketball... Um, he created the super team, a cheat code, whatever you want to call it. So I get that. There's like a reason to be angry there. But like, I also think some of the back backlash is because like of this, I think there's a, a, a negative sort of feeling towards player autonomy and players having control of their right, careers. Which I like don't they, agree with. Right. You don't agree with me on that. No, 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 no I don't we, agree we with, agree with I agree with you. That's a, that's the whole part. I think, I think, yeah. and I think, and if I'm going a little deeper, I think some of it, is race related. I yes. Think, I think you're so, definitely absolutely. right about that. Absolutely. Okay. So I, I don't, I don't want to have that conversation right now because I just don't want to have it. But so I, I think, I think there's, that's the two sides of the backlash. And I, and I like, I got some heat on this uh, when I talked about my podcast. Like I, I, I think most of it, truthfully, most of it is that fan backlash. Like, Oh, he created a super team. He took the easy way, whatever you want to call it. Like, I don't care about that. But the underlying reason, the underlying reason mm-hmm. behind all this anger is like a player actually having control over his right. career. Mm-hmm. I, and I believe that. And, that and, and I agree that that is absolute. But that's why I've always struggled with it because when it happened, I even said, I was like, he should do whatever he wants to do. He should. And, I, you know, obviously watching the Warriors and having that impossible feeling like no one's going to beat them has kind of made me like a little bit bitter in, you know, ret- you know co- going forward. But you're absolutely right because you see it all the time when players get, I mean, Blake Griffin, our friend, I don't know if he's your friend anymore uh <laughs> clipper for life and then gets yeah. traded to the pistons so and DeMar players DeRozan get you, had every Isaiah opportunity Thomas. two summers ago yeah. to go back home and right. sign with the lakers on a max contract yeah. and committed long term to, to toronto gave every indication this summer that he wanted to stick around please don't trade me we're not going to trade you you're out of here isaiah right. thomas comes back from a hip injury to play or you know come yeah. probably shouldn't be playing plays then gets traded plays then, what 24 48 hours after right. his sisters right his sister right dies, so like, that, in a car you're, crash, so. you're absolutely right that the players have like should exercise their free agent rights anytime they have that because you know the owners will fuck them over let me say one other thing about this player autonomy player control i i don't understand why fans try to get players to take less money. Mm-hmm. 
you're you're giving back money to billionaires, yep. the owners, mm-hmm. right? The other thing is everybody do, everybody compares athletes to like, oh, an athlete is the CEO of his own business, which in a way I kind of agree with. What CEO would be like, you know what? We could have eight million in revenue this year, but ah, I only want three million in revenue. That is that's that's in no one's best interest. Right. There's obviously some some caveats here about like fit and location and am I going to be on a winning team versus a bad team the player ultimately has to decide that but like to just like take a pay cut to take a pay cut makes zero sense mm-hmm. and no one in any other industry does that well, my whole qualm is like why sign Carmelo Anthony if you could go out and pay uh, 400 firefighters to join your team instead mm-hmm. because that's the equivalent <laughs> probably of get it. the so same stats keep too. it in perspective yeah. yeah probably get better stats better stats definitely yeah. Yeah. What do you, I heard you say the other day, there are losers. That was an unnecessary shot at Carmelo. Carmel well, 